and welcome to Wheels and Bits and thanks for taking a look at our video review of the Pioneer MVH A2100BT This is a 2 din radio with a your USB a Bluetooth, Bluetooth audio you have your Smart Pioneer Smart App you have, it's made for iPod and iPhone but that's only for playing the music off the internal memory on the phone uh, it's got the USB with the rapid charge for Android. It's got the karaoke function on the Bluetooth, which is a sing, sing along on that that will work only on digital media files. Um, you've got two phone power up, your rear view camera, uh, and now we're just gonna take a wee look to see what you receive in the box uh, and unpack the unit. So here now you'll see that we've unpacked the unit from out of the box, and you'll see that you receive the unit itself and that comes included the cage and the trim removal of the cage and trim makes it standard two in you've got your instructions and warranty card with it you've got the some screws for bolting it on to the like oem frames in some cars you get the keys for removing it from the standard double in cage you've got the wiring loom for it you've got the expand extension usb and you've got the external microphone so now we're just going to take a look at the back of the unit because this is one of the things that people ask us some questions on uh, and we'll show you out the features on the back. So here you'll see a view of the rear of the unit and you'll see down here you've got the USB on the rear, you've got the AUGs in, you've got reversion camera, you've got video out, you've got front, rear and subwoofer control, you've got the skirt lead for the power supply and the little fuse. You've got the 2.5mm jack which is for the microphone and 3.5mm jack here that is for the wired steering wheel remote control that you'll use the interface adapters if you've got the factory fitted steering controls and then you've got the antenna. Then you've got this uh, heat sink to draw the heat away from the internal amplifiers. Here you'll see we have the Pioneer MVHA 2100BT uh, which is a mechless doubled in unit with Bluetooth, Bluetooth audio streaming, car radio, reversion camera, video playback via the USB, a uh, multi color variation illumination. You've got your smartphone connectivity uh, with the Pioneer Smart App. You've got the karaoke function on the Bluetooth so you can sing along with the with digital media files. Uh, it doesn't, you can't sing along with the radio, you can only sing along with the media uh, via USB or the Bluetooth. Um, so I'm just going to run through a couple of the quick features here that's on the stereo. You'll see here initially you have the, the the functions for on the stereo. So you've got your radio. It's great out here because we have nothing actually connected to the USB at the moment. We have Bluetooth audio, AUGs in and a reversion camera. Again you'll see the reversion camera is great out because there's not one connected to it. Up here you'll see you've got the settings. You can just go into the themes. You can go background. So you can change illumination, themes, You've got the audio settings to adjust your subwoofer levels, your balance, your fade, graphic equalizer. You've got your video settings. You've got Bluetooth settings. This isn't actually uh, instigated because the handbrake cable is not connected. Um, you've got your all your video and audio sources. And then you've got your favorites, which there's none appointed as it's a new unit. Um, you've got your EQ settings, so you can change the graphic equalizer. You've got all your different par uh, your set preset settings along the bottom here. So you just want to go super bass, automatically, powerful, natural. You have customizable ones as well on the 13 built band graphic equalizer that's built inside. So it's quite a good audio setup, uh, even though it's an entry level unit. Um, so just quickly coming out of that. Um, the main difference between the higher spec models is they like the Spotify. So in the instance of this, so I already have selected the the Bluetooth music and I have just playing off Spotify off my phone, uh, and that's just working away. <clears throat> in the background with the dear units, you can actually control the unit. Um, here you do have limited features where you can sk skip and forward and play the uh, next song, but you can't browse the albums and stuff. That's only on the more expensive units. Uh, via the direct app for Spotify or via the Apple CarPlay. Uh, that would be a predominant difference between the models up from this. Um, but still, even with the entry level unit, you know, you can still play the music via the Bluetooth uh, or you can play it via the USB via the smartphone app. Um, 
again not a bad spec unit for the money uh, if you want something double dinned um, with a screen uh, that you can put a reversion camera up to got everything that you'd want even down here you see you select the bluetooth uh, automatically you go on the bluetooth apps you can go into the different settings touch screen you can go into phone books automatically pulls it across you can direct dial the, the numbers on the touch screen all that there is on the unit um, and as i said you can pick these up for between 149 to 179 sterling in the uk uh, if you check on the wheelsandbits.co.uk website you'll find the most up-to-date pricing and stock availability on these um, and that there is pretty much about it at the minute for this unit uh, thanks for watching our video from the wheels and bits team i um, hope you uh, subscribe press the bell button and like the video as we continue to try and do more reviews on the products